Hey there. All right. Today's video is on blood spatter angles in forensics. And I know most of you, if you're clicking on these videos, this is not one of the things you typically see me talking about. But hey, that's okay. What I'm going to do now is take a look at this blood spatter. Because what a problem is usually going to do is it's going to come back and give you two things. It's going to tell you both the width and the length of that spatter is what it's going to tell you. So I'm going to get into this problem now, and I'm going to say that you're working a problem, and it tells you that the length of this spatter is, let's go with 20 millimeters, and let's say that the width of this blood spatter, uh, so I'm going to say the width of this is, I don't know, what does it look like? Maybe 8 millimeters. But anyway, we just need a width and a length is what we're using. And from this information, you can figure out the angle that this thing hit at. Now, I think where some folks have trouble is you're not used to uh, doing physics and trigonometry. Well, this is actually pretty basic stuff. You see there's a formula. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And in the case of this problem, they're calling the width your opposite. And I know that doesn't really look like a triangle, but in a way it is. It is a width and a length of that piece of blood spatter. Now what happens in trigonometry, when you're trying to find an angle, mathematically you divide both sides by sine, and it gives you this, width over length. Now, for you, you may just be stuck on, so how do we put this in a calculator? How do we do this problem? Well, it's easy. Theta is equal to sine negative 1, and I'll show you how to do that. The width, with the, which the width of mine is 8, and it looks like the length of mine is 20. Your units do have to match. So make sure if that says millimeters, that the other one says millimeters as well. And I'll show you how to plug this in the calculator so that you can do it. Uh, first of all, if you're not familiar with doing trig in a calculator, uh, you need to make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. You can see a little D on my screen up there. Here, I'll click on my calculator. Mode, excuse me, shift, setup. And if your calculator is not in degrees like my calculator, you would hit number three and that would get it to degrees. But now all you have to do is, if you want to do this, there's the sign button right here. Sign, but if you look, sign negative one is in yellow up above it. So and this is every calculator. You got to hit shift, sign, and you'll see it make the little sign negative one. And now I'm going to say shift sign of eight divided by 20. I'll close my parentheses. This is pretty common. Hit equals, and lo and behold, the angle of my blood spatter is 23 and a half degrees, 23.6 degrees. So that is the angle of my splatter. So that's how you put it in a calculator if you're having problems on that end of it. But uh, anyway, uh, this should have you get to go. If you're in, if you're not in degrees, now I'll give you the wrong answer. That'll be the only thing. So if you're on the TI instead of hitting shift and then sign on the t Texas Instruments like a TI 30, you'll hit second and then sign. There'll be a button up there that says two in the second. So anyway, I hope this helps you and it gets you over that hump and working these problems. So anyway, good luck and uh, later, taters. Uh, anyway, bye.